morning folks cue ball here this is going to be a motor vlog the first let's test these bad boys out there's my normal lights turn them off a minute there's the LEDs let's see what they look like on the road Now this thing is eighty grits on. What's that out catchment bolts and the right the guys? Toes, check him out on Facebook. Luke, one of the them. Top mechanic. Nice, oh, let's see how good these LED lights are. Apologise for the mirror, still haven't got it fixed. If Lee's watching. And off we go folks. Oh, let's do a light test. That's without them, that's with them on. But not so much for distance, they're more just for the bike itself. And I suppose cars should see them lights a lot better from a distance, I hope. They look good, close up. So, hopefully, they'll uh, be giving me some extra vision. Um, anyway, motel vlog, softly spotlight test. You can see that as we're going along. Um, I was looking on my channel uh, over the weekend. And sometimes I only look at my latest videos and look at comments. Uh, I found a section on my control panel, which is on an old YouTube uh, desktop thing. And uh, I found a load of comments that had been made on my channel, which I didn't know I could access. Uh, so obviously, otherwise oh, you've got to click on all the, all the videos. Uh, yeah, so I went through all them comments, replied to most of them. Um, but the video I did, uh, I think it was about a year ago, it might have been more, it was uh, Del Boy's Garage versus Matt, which is, uh, if you don't know any of those, Del Boy's Garage is uh, a channel that I've been following for a very long time, and I'm very good friends with Del. Uh, there's a guy on the internet called Matt, I can't remember the name of his, The Workshop, that's the one, The Workshop. So this, this video will be uh, Del Boy's Garage versus The Workshop, Moto Vlog, take two, slash, replying to most of the comments that I got on that video. And uh, most of the comments were back in The Workshop up, a lot of, well, I think there was all of 15 comments in total, which is not a big amount compared to what... Uh, Del Boy's got on his channel. I mean, he's got over 160,000 subscribers, so you're always going to get a few uh, people that don't like you. You get that in anything. Um, basically, this guy called Matt the Workshop. I don't really follow him, to be honest. I used to just watch a few of his things because he was constantly slagging Del off. Um, and what I said in the last video was, you know, basically leave Del alone because what you're doing, it's like being back at school childish he uh, he's basically built his channel off slagging off another channel and he's taken his old subscribers and took them onto his channel sort of thing I think that's that, that's how he's built his channel up because people have watched him slagging someone off and obviously people are getting off on him um, and Dell obviously got involved at the time I think he's probably got bored of it now to be quite honest um, but I'm just replying to the comments that uh, that I got on my video. 
Uh, basically, I'm not going to reply to every single comment. Um, but I will, what I will say is, if they do watch this video and they want to a reply, the rat bike there, look. Sounds like a rat. Um, you all need to get a life. I've been watching the old boy for probably a good part of eight years. And um, you know what? Nobody's perfect. Perhaps you wouldn't admit it. Perhaps some of the things he's done are not brilliant. But uh, I would say 80% of his stuff on his channel is fantastic. I've followed him and I've always used his methods. Never done me any any uh, harm and most people that follow him and that, that, that I've spoke about. Um, yeah. And I mean, look, you've only got to look at his channel and his subscribers and how far he's giving. I think, personally, this Matt bloke is uh, he's just jealous. He's got nothing fucking better to do. So there's your answer, folks, to all those who were uh, commenting, saying, you know, you still watch him, he did this, he did that, he did this. Um, I'm a big friend of Dell's, always have been. Big follower. And uh, I'm not going to stop watching him. So it's up to you guys if you want to start watching him, you know, you watch whatever you like, but uh, if Matt's watching, probably not, but, uh, you know, move on mate, it's getting a bit pathetic now. Anyway, let's carry on with the vlog, I don't know what I'm going to title this, I'll probably call it uh, Del Boy vs The Workshop Take 2 slash Spotlight Test plus other things, something like that. Uh, I've, had, I've said enough on the matter of the Del Boy in the Workshop um, rant. Uh, yeah. So back to back to the bike, I think. Back to the spotlights. So far, so good. Is it helping the vision? Well, I haven't had no one pull out on me as of yet. So we'll see. Definitely a lot brighter at the front with them lights. Hopefully it will make all the difference. Definitely a lot brighter at the front with them lights. Hopefully it will make all the difference. But they're, uh, they're more for uh, the fog, I think. They look like your high beam, which I've got on at the moment, which a lot of you will probably ask. Why have you got your high beam on? I always have it on at night. Shouldn't really, but gives you a bit of extra light. Yeah, I think they're more for the fog. But uh, I'll have them on all the time, to be honest. Even in the daytime, they're coming under. Twenty thousand hours on the box and a year's warranty, I think you get with it. Idiot here, look. Now bastard lights on the fucking thing. Now guy on the footpath. But you need to be seen. Do what the light. So this side is a sim mate. He was gonna pull out, weren't he? There's a line there, fucking wait on it, you twat. Even the lorries had to fucking swerve. You don't go over the line, as you approach a junction, you wait at the line. You look left, you look right, you look left again. Not him. I'll pull halfway out, then I'll look. Brain dead. So, uh, how can you not see them fucking three lights? You must be fucking blind. That's the first one so far. You stopped. Just. They definitely brought the front of the brought in the front of the bike up a lot more. Uh, I 
see my higher boots are mate again. Today, oh he is, he's there. Bastard lorries parked here, look. It's a good way to park, isn't it? Locking the fucking road up. You fucking hazard lights, you twat. Oh, slow. Fucking block both sides of the road so they can have a chat. Not the fact that people are going to get round. Gap for one car to get through. You're going to do it. One park's up there, one park's a bit further down, so you can get both sides through. Fucking arseholes. The one, the one had his hazard lights on, the other one day just parked up. You're causing a hazard in the road, put your hazard lights on. Fucking murder them. Thoughts on lorry drivers? My thoughts, absolute fucking arseholes, and I've got no time for them. Being a biker and all. The absolute fucking tossers. Let's go that way. Avoid all the dirt. Some train tracks you gotta watch. That shortcut that I take, the potholes down there are unbelievable. So here's now, here's one thing now, if this was a car now in my position, they'd go around this motor. It's supposed to give way. Nine times out of ten they don't. Someone said there, I'm knocking it down. Oh, no. It's old Macker pub here, look. This shit all back in the day. These idiots here, look, there's a bus parked up. None of them give way to you. I expect you to go up the footpath. Always keep a metre away from a parked vehicle. Watch out for doors, opening. You should know that anyway, talk you there on your test. Doors length. Vibration in the hand, man. Folks, I'm coming to the end of my journey, immediately at work, time for a coffee. Uh, yeah, so leave me your comments below on the Del Boy the Workshop uh, reply that I've given to all those idiots that commented on my channel that didn't like Del. Well, I'm not going to stop watching him. Uh, thoughts on the spotlights and other things that I'm rabbiting on about. And I'll catch you for the next one. I'd say. Alright folks, just a little extra. Before we go I'll uh, give you one more look at the spotlights there we go let me know what you think catch you next time